Hello everyone, on this video I will be demonstrating how to create a Apache Airflow job type. Here we are on the new graphical designer, so on the on our canvas workspace, so we can see blocks and assets. I will drag and drop the Airflow job type right here on my job stream. You see you created a, a built-in job. I will just provide a name, Airflow here and then the IP of the workstation and then we have two tabs uh, connection tab and uh, the action tab authentication either basic or bureau token for basic I will create I will add this username and password and then I will type the airflow URL we're gonna test the connections. This will check if the user has proper permissions. We can reach the Airflow web UI. And then I, I can start uh, and uh, to do the, the pick list to search the existing DAGs on Airflow. I don't know the name of the DAG, so I will type uh, branch. I know we have some DAGs with the word branching, uh, branch and search. Notice here DAGs containing the string branch were found. Please select one. I will select this one configuration JSON we're gonna pass a, a JSON empty string here or so just uh, uh, just without parameters so we can move uh, failed on pause DAG this is if the DAG is paused on airflow the job will fail uh, right away right it won't be be in, in running state so I will mark this meaning if the DAG is pause it on our flow the job will fail login level never or child tasks so either you want to grab the logs on our job log for for, for the task or a no or yes so okay so never or child tasks yes meaning we're going to grab logs for all the tasks on the dex from this point the job uh, is pretty much created i will do deploy Okay, so now I, I've created the job. I will submit this job. So let's just search for the job definition. Here, job stream, found it and run. Perfect, the job, the job stream has run. I will switch to the UI. The job is now in running state. Okay, so the job ran completely the job has been completed so let's inspect uh, two things first uh, let's take a look on the properties of the job and extra properties those are values that the job will pass and you can reuse on on the following jobs okay and also the job log uh, here is how the job log of Airflow looks like and uh, for each task within the DAG, I have some details like task ID, state. We can see this one was skipped on Airflow, but those two did run successful. The log contents for their executions is located here. And we're going to finish opening the DAG straight on Airflow. You can see URL. So that should take me straight to the so that should take me straight to the uh, Airflow DAG task execution. So this is the task triggered by uh, workload automation. Okay. And that's how we create and run an Airflow job. Thank you.